Colby, when you guys got the ball on that last drive, what was what was the feeling on the sideline? Uh, we were ready, man. We were ready. You know, we're always just asking for the defense to give us opportunity, and they gave us that opportunity, and we were able to capitalize and finish, and it was a four-quarter fight, and we got the result we wanted. What 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 was Tristan like during the during the you know that fourth quarter? He, he seemed like he 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 just grew up in this game. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm so proud of Tristan. Uh, just proud of the whole team. You know, we kept fighting and nobody worried, and uh, we detected what we were doing and we got the result. What's it like from your vantage point? I don't know how often you get to watch him, but actually watching Jamar do what he does. <laughs> that boy's special. Uh, two games in a row, he got his 80 yard touchdown runs and. Uh, definitely makes our job a lot easier on the outside. So uh, glad he's my teammate, and uh, it's just a great team win. Hey, what about the fact that uh, you guys beat your rival, and it's been a while? Uh, how do you feel about that? What does it mean to you? Uh, it feels good for sure. Uh, no, I'm definitely going to celebrate this one. And, uh, you know, this is probably the biggest game of the season, uh, you know, beating your rival. And, uh, you know, just it's a really great feeling. Colby, what was the talk um, like there at the end of the third quarter, knowing you guys were, were hanging in here and had a really good chance to win it? Uh, we were good. You know, we were just, just staying with it, and, you know, nobody was panicking, and we knew uh, we still had a shot. We knew what we were capable of, and, um, you know, we just wanted the opportunity, and we got that opportunity. What what was going on there when, when, when Tristan went down with an injury? You guys were all huddled around him. What, what, what were you guys talking about? I mean, Chance had never played in a game before. Yeah, I uh, you know we're just trying to uh, see what the refs were saying and uh, to try to figure out what the best call was going to be and if we had our timeout or not. Um, you know, the coaches did a great job and, uh, you know, we got it in. Hey, what about that play you had uh, second half? You got behind the defender and you almost scored, but what a clutch play that was. Talk about that one. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll probably get some, some laughs in the meeting room. Can't get tackled at the two. Uh, but, you know, I just did my job and uh, made the play and, you know, set up a scoring drive. Is there a way to sum up what uh, Jefferson means to this team? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, you know, he's a hard worker. Um, he shows Ooh. up every day and, and, and nuts, does his thing and uh, just pushes everybody <laughs> better. And uh, you know, just glad he's our teammate and appreciate him. And yeah. Jamar, did you have a feeling uh, coming into this game that that you were going to do something special? You know, I come in the game, uh, every game, always confidence and in our play and what our team can do. How much more confident were you after that 82-yard run to start off the game? Uh, I was a lot more confident. You know, uh, it picked up the sideline energy. Um, we was all turned up and just ready to go. <clears throat> Jamar, this is your fourth straight game, over 100 rushing yards. How do you feel about that? Uh, it feels great, but I got to give a big shout out to my old line. They've been working really hard off season. Um, both of us, both of us, you know, Coach Mihalik Check is a really good coach and coached them guys up where really well. Jamar, to be able to do that in this rivalry game, I mean, what exactly does that mean to you? Uh, it means everything. You know, I've been here uh, for the past two years. We lost against Oregon. And last year, I really wanted, um, you know, well, you know what happened last year. I really wanted to redeem Two, myself. 226. Is that the number you're looking for? There we go. Jamar, could you just expand on that? You obviously got cut off there. Could you expand on what you were just saying about redeeming yourself? Uh, I, I obviously wanted to redeem myself from last year, what happened in that, that uh, fumble. So. I knew coming in this year, I, you know, I studied hard. I was really ready for this game and, you know, try to not try not to make any mistakes. Jamar, could you talk early in the game? They get the quick score. And once again, you come up with that long, long run and show that burst of speed. Talk about that play. Uh, that was really, that was really, a, it was a wise zone play. You know, um, the play wasn't going to me at first. And then Tristan Audible did to uh, a wise zone play. And um, when they caught it, I saw that the defense was unadjusted, so I knew it was gonna, you know, it was gonna be a big hole. So I went and went went through it. Saw daylight. Jonathan's been talking about how good Tristan is at that pre-snap stuff, pre-snap stuff, and getting you guys in the right look. I mean, how much does that help you? 
help me yeah uh it help us uh help us a lot you know um it's really great. He's really a smart quarterback. Um, he knows defenses, coverages, and different and safety rotations. So he knows what he's doing back there. Jamar, that uh, third down play, third and one there at the goal line, and, and Tristan's trying to sneak it in. Um, you look like you were trying to push him in. Just kind of talk about what happened there and and what you were seeing. Uh, you know, I tried my hardest to push him, man. Um, right before the play, my coach was like, push him in. Cause I wasn't before, cause I was too far. They told me I scooted up and, you know, tried to help him. Jamar, could you take us back to last year in the aftermath uh, of that game and what happened with you? What was that like? How long did it take you to kind of get over that moment? You know, me, I just, I don't really let stuff stick to me and stick to my head. Um, otherwise it's going to get worse. So it really, I really just got over in about, uh, about a day or day or two. You know, I just knew uh, to come back and work hard this off season, and, you know, get ready for them this season. Can you kind of describe how physical this Oregon defense is with their linebackers? Uh, they were really physical, especially number one, number five. There was uh, 41. That was definitely physical. Um, I remember from I remember 41 from last year. So uh, they're definitely they're, they're physical defense for sure. Hey, Jamar, how do you oh. feel like you uh, rank among the best running backs in the country? And, and do you feel like you get the uh, the recognition you deserve? Uh, I really don't feel like I get the rec recognition uh, I deserve. I, you know, I just got to put my head down, keep working hard. And, you know, um, uh, just let just God. The only person that knows is God. Does that get old? Does it get annoying being overlooked? I mean, I know I've been underrated all my life, so I'm just used to it. Did, does that fact or did that factor into the way you kind of approach this game? Definitely. You know, um, I was always I grew up. I was I was raised to always work hard and work for anything that I get. So I knew coming in this game, I had to really work hard this practice and um, uh, really study some film. Hey, Jamar, I hopped on here late. So excuse me if you've already been asked this, but after the first two tries, you guys try to get in the end zone that those, that final drive. What was it like seeing that called short? back to back and knowing what just happened at Washington a few weeks ago. Uh, you know, it was crazy. I knew the first one, the first quarterback sneak he got in for sure. I've seen it, but you know, uh, we can't, we can't do, we can't control it. So uh, uh, we tried it again, didn't work. Uh, Tristan got hurt and then um, Chance came in and it stepped up big time for us. Jamar, did you say anything to Chance when he stepped up there before the fourth down play? Uh, I just said before he stepped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did just you say anything, uh, or say anything to him. I don't really say nothing to him. I was just like, "Come on, like, like, uh, we, uh, we all need this. Like, you're gonna be straight. Just, you know, focus on the game and and this play right now." And, and practice every day just for a chance to get that moment and get that game-winning touchdown. Just how cool is that? Can you repeat it? <clears throat> you guys you guys see how hard Chance works in practice every day. Just how cool is it to see him get that moment? Uh, it's really great. You know, he works hard, really hard um, in practice. You know, I, I see he spend time after the practice watching film on his own. So it's great to see him, you know, step up and make a play like that. How does this game and your performance rank among uh, your best in, in college? Where does this rank among your games and, and performances? Uh, I just feel like it's number one, you know. Uh, this win is really big, you know. Uh, rivalry game, rivalry game. Uh, that's really all I can say. <laughs> one of the biggest game I've played in. Great. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. Question Andre, what uh, what what happened? What changed in the second half for you guys defensively? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? What what changed for you guys in the second half defensively? Um, you know, honestly, we just made the adjustments that we that we needed to. Um, you know, I think Tim's caused some 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 great calls. Um, you know, defensive calls, and um, you know, we just we weren't fitting things uh we weren't fitting things up you know right the right way the first time you know in the first half and so. Um, you know, moving forward into the second, um, you know, we, we just challenged ourselves, you know, to, to do your job um, and to just trust your teammates. And, man, this was a great team win, I think, just all around. 
you you you've been here for five years what does this what does this mean to you guys what mean to you um you know i'm just i'm <laughs> i'm ecstatic <laughs> uh you know i i'm i'm so happy for my guys um you know i'm so happy for this team um and shoot man this this win just just you know it makes me happy um and you know we're gonna enjoy this and then you know get ready for our next opponent you, you you had a, you had a career high for uh, tackles for loss. It's it's been a while since you've had a you know really big impact on the game because of your injury last year. What I mean, what part of that did that mean to you? Um, you know, like I said, like I said before, man. Uh, I just uh, I think that Coach Tibbs put uh, put us or excuse me, uh, caused some great plays to to put us in in uh, in some great positions and. You know, I, uh, when my number was called, man, I just I just tried to do my best to make the play um, every chance that I got. Um, and so, um, like I said, man, I, I just think that, um, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't even know. Like, I'm I'm just I'm just really happy, man, at the end of the day. <laughs> you guys get the that stop on Oregon's final drive to get the ball back to Tristan. Just how ecstatic were you guys after that? <laughs> Uh, I mean, were you watching the game on TV? <laughs> I mean, I think you can kind of tell, uh, man, it was, it was, um, it was pretty crazy. This was a crazy game. Um, you know, college football is a long game and man, it was just, it was a lot of fun, you know, um, shout out to Oregon, you know, they, they were a hell of a team and, um, you know, we just, we just played our asses off today and, oh, excuse my language. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Is there a way to describe how important uh, Jamar is to your guys' team? Um, I mean, you guys know. Uh, he He's a heck of a player, um, heck of a teammate. And, um, you know, in my opinion, I think he's the best, the best there is. But, um, you know, you guys, uh, you guys saw tonight, he's a, he's a heck of a player, a game changer and a home run hitter. Hey, Andre, what was yeah. that locker room like tonight? <laughs> Uh, I think you could imagine, <laughs> uh, you know, excited, um, joyful, uh, very thankful, um, because at the end of the day, um, you know, this is a blessing, um, and, you know, this opportunity, um, you know, this game, the outcome, um, you know, everyone's pretty, pretty healthy, um, as far as I know. Um, and so, you know, these are all blessings. Um, and so with that, I just want to thank God, um, you know, and, uh, Man, just a just a great night. <laughs> this so, feel like the biggest win for you guys since you've been here. Um, I mean, I guess I I don't know I don't know, man. I, I still haven't even digested this whole thing. Um, you know, I I came straight from the locker room up here, so I'm you know still kind of riding the, the adrenaline, the wave. You know, this is just this is all crazy. You know, so when I go home, I'm gonna let this kind of sink in. Um, watch the watch the tape and. Um, you know, like I said, get uh, get ready for the next opponent. Hey, Andre, one last question. Absolutely. Throughout the week, um, you know, everybody kind of not downplayed Oregon, but they didn't really kind of want to talk about any hype. Is it does this game mean more to you guys? What do you mean? I'm sorry, I didn't mean that to sound bad. Uh, well, what do you mean by that? <laughs> no, I mean is 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 this game circled? I mean, is this some a game you guys look forward to every year? Absolutely. Um, okay. Absolutely. Um, you know, I, uh, ever since I've been here, um, this is one of the games that I've always been excited to play in. Um, you know, rivalry games, I think, are, are circled, um, you know, for everyone across the country. Um, and so this was a game that, you know, we we're definitely looking forward to playing. Um, you know, I think the focus was on us this week. Um, and I think just overall, like, um, you know, we worked, we worked really, really hard, um, both coaches. Uh, staff members, my teammates, myself, man, we we all work so hard, and um, you know I'm just glad that we could get this outcome as a team because um, you know I think it means a lot to this program and it means a lot to us. Um, I know it means a lot to me, and um, yeah, man, like I said, I'm just so thankful um, to just be in this position, um, you know, playing football and um, for this win. Great, thanks, Andre. Absolutely. Jaden, what's what's this one mean to you as an in-state guy? 
Man, um, I mean, this is, these are the moments that you you kind of dream about, you know, as a kid growing up here. Um, so yeah, I mean, it means a lot, you know, for me as an in-state kid mm-hmm. because you know the rivalry is so close to home. But I mean, for our team, this is huge, and um, you know, that's the best part about it is, you know, how, how big of a win it is for you know not just me but all of us. Jaden, do you think the fog today had effect on the game? Like, was it hard to play in the fog? Could you even see? <laughs> Do I think, did you say, did the fog have an effect on the game? I mean, like, was it hard to, like, see during, during the, about the game? Like, for example, a lot of people didn't know you had that pick because the fog was in the way. So did the fog oh. really have an effect on anything, really? I mean, I, it was foggy, but I, I don't think so. Hey, Jaden, um, you originally had committed to play for Oregon. How big, then, was this game, then, for you to come out and fall out like that and then come out with a win? <laughs> And um, I'm, I guess the only thing I could do is, you know, thank God for, you know, leading me to decide to, you know, take a chance on myself and become a beaver. Um, yeah. Then you guys get that, um, that three and out stop to get the ball back to the offense so they can score that game winning touchdown. Just how excited were you guys after that? I mean, we were excited, but there's still a lot of game left to play. Um, we still had to go and punch the ball in. And then once, uh, you know, the offense was within striking distance, it was all about, you know, preparing for that last drive. So, um, you know, there's guys excited, but, you know, the leaders on the team I felt did a good job of keeping the guys level-headed and, you know, having the players understand that we still have to go out there and execute for one more last drive. And uh, we were able to do that and come away with the win. Yeah, what, what are you saying to guys in that moment? Chill out, <laughs> chill out. Uh, there's still time left. We still have to do our jobs and we do our jobs when we win this game. Jaden, was there any, a moment in the first half or halftime with the defense where you guys kind of got together and just settled yourself down or, or you know, talked about changes you needed to make because things seem to click after a while for you? I mean, no, it's, it's all about execution. I, I've said it again. I mean, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Um, you know, our coaches put us in positions to be successful every single game. I mean, there hasn't been a game where our coaches haven't put us in positions to be successful. So it's from within, man. It's from with, from within those 11 guys who are on the field, you know, just going out there and, you know, playing together and executing. And um, we executed well enough today to uh, get the win. Everybody good? Thanks, Jaden. We up and rolling? Okay. Uh, well, obviously, uh, really proud of this football team, uh, the resilience, uh, the fight for four quarters. Um, and it was a great football game, back and forth, both teams making plays and responding. And uh, obviously, really happy for our guys to come out on top. These guys have been working, believing, and uh, they were able to finish the thing in the fourth quarter. They had some great performances, really, in all phases. Uh, but we got a special running back that makes a difference, and we got a defense that can. You know, they got the ball two minutes or so, and we get some timeouts, and they get that, get that crucial stop for us then to be able to, to finish the game on offense. So, obviously, really happy and proud of these guys, and uh, this is a special win. Jonathan, what does this one mean for you in terms of, of where you're building the program? I think it's huge. I mean, this is a good football team we played, and those guys have won a bunch of games over the last few years. And uh, anytime you you know rivalry game, you want to make it a rivalry, and uh, and now getting on top, uh, it does a lot for the program. The uh, the the third down play where uh, Tristan didn't get in the end zone, and he came up. What, can you just kind of talk through that? What happened there? He came and kind of laid down on the yeah. Field? Well, it started with a little bit of confusion. So we run the play on third down. And, you know, the clock's running. And, of course, you know, is he in, is he not? We go out to more or less, hey, I want to call a timeout because I don't want the thing to just continue to go. Um, if we're short, obviously, I want them to review it, to look at it. So they, they did a good job communicating throughout of what, you know, what were the circumstances. And they took a look at it on third down, called us short. Um, you know, he, he takes the injury. I, I think he's going to be fine, but it's like a hamstring or something. And. How about that chance? Nolan goes in for his first college football play in Division One, probably the biggest play of the game, and he gets it done. What What did you say to Chance before he went in? Nothing. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say anything to him. 
Did Why you, did you choose to go with Chance over Coletto? Uh, just because the play we were going to run, Chance had way more reps. We did consider Coletto for the short yardage like we had done earlier in the game, but uh, we decided on the sneak again, and so that's that's Chance's play. Has, has Chance had much um, in practice worked on going under center? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he gets reps with the ones a bunch, you know, with Eldridge, and so that wasn't a concern. I mean, Jonathan, you've been a quarterback before. Just what do you think is going through his head on that sideline when he sees Tristan go down? You're going to have to ask him. Um, look, we feel good about the guy. He's continued to work and improve. I think he's got a bright future here. Uh, he can make some plays with his legs and his and his throwing ability. So, you know. Yeah, Jonathan, what does this what does this game say about Tristan? Just you know, the last few games that you know the passing game has been a little bit, you know, a work in progress. Just how is he? How has he kind of progressed and, and matured into this into this situation? Yeah, I, he made some big time plays today. That scramble uh, for a first down late in the game, uh, and the kid's resilient now. Uh, he keeps on working. I think, the, you know, our passing game showed up tonight, I thought. You know, receivers making some plays for him. He made some nice throws, made a couple plays with his feet. Um, he played well enough for us to win this game. Jamar might not get the recognition he deserves, Coach. And, in fact, he just said as much. Why do you, why do you think that is? Well, look, I think he deserves some recognition. I mean, he's a big time back. I think everybody sees it, and a lot of people say, say it. Um, I know he's a a guy in our locker room that we appreciate because not only just the production he has on Saturdays, but the way he goes about things on the day-to-day, -day, how hard he works. Um, he deserves a lot of recognition. Um, Coach, what did you see on defense that changed um, at halftime? I mean, the first half, you guys were giving up big chunks of plays, and then you really tightened it up. What What did the Ducks do, or what did you see that you could adjust? Yeah, we needed to, we busted a coverage early, you know, in the first half and gave him a huge play there. We needed to wrap up and tackle better. We got another sprung for a touchdown. We didn't wrap the guy up. And so at halftime, I think we just calmed him down. And I think that's shown up even this season earlier games of, like, come in halftime, make some adjustments, calm down a little bit on defense. And, and we play a whole lot better in the second half. Jonathan, where does you... this... this rank among, I mean, overall moments since you started coaching here? Well, it's right up there. There's no question. I mean, you know, we've uh, we've won some games since, since I've been here, but this is a big win. There's, you know, there's no way other way to say it. Um, playing a good football team with, again, I know it's a rival. We got respect for that team now. They do a good job with it. They got good players. They get a good job of coaching. Um, and that's why they win a bunch of games. Um, so it's a big win. Bradford and Colby Taylor talk about their performances. Tonight. Huge, huge. I mean, some tough catches. Bradford was productive. You know, I don't know what got the exact stats, but, you know, Bradford gets eight catches, critical. Colby had a huge catch on, uh, yeah, I think it was fourth down, low ball that he pulled in. So, um, and again, those guys – deserve to play well because they practice hard. They're good players and they kept uh, battling through a lot of criticism in the old first couple of weeks on our passing game. Um, those guys showed up. What was, what was, when you guys got inside the 10 there on first and goal, was, was your thought just to, just to keep running the ball with the clock and everything. So you didn't give Oregon a lot of time or. Yeah, we were, you know, we had enough time. It was first and goal, but there was enough time. We had some timeouts. Um, and so there was no panic, and I was a fan of giving the ball to Jamar again um, down to the two. And then once we got to the two, felt confident with the sneak and, and finally got it on fourth down. So, Coach, you'd sort of referenced how long it took to get there on the fourth down. What was it like watching that called short again and again after what just happened at Washington a few weeks ago? Yeah, it's in the back of your mind. But, again, we, we had another snap and knew that we could uh, – we could get it in on fourth down. Um, and so it, uh, it is what it is. And it took four downs and we got it done. Jaden talked about how as an in-state kid, this rivalry, he just knows the heart of it so well. As somebody who played here, I imagine it feels similarly. Can you put into context what this rivalry is and sort of the fact that it has been very lopsided towards the Ducks in recent years? what this mean this win means for this program well yeah it means a ton and i actually told the team that after in the locker room that it means a ton to a lot of people not just the guys sitting in that locker room i mean i just uh it's too bad that beaver nation couldn't been filled in research stadium right now 
and to have a win like this, the celebration that would took place, we miss those Beaver Nation so much. Um, and because it means a lot to, to so many, uh, especially our in-state kids. Like you mentioned, mentioned Jaden, but we got a bunch of guys from this state and for them to be victorious is huge. Jonathan, the, the end of the game is what people are going to talk about. But during the first half, was there an eerie feeling at all just with the fog coming down? And was it hard to see on the field? Or? I asked the guys up in the press box the same thing. Because, you know, even the replays on the screen, there was a bunch of fog going. Um, you know, on the field, you could see pretty well. I was thinking about the first half if we were trading, they were scoring touchdowns, we were kicking a couple field goals. And that was going to be a problem uh, if it continued. Um, but there's a bunch of critical plays in the first half that made a difference. This might get kind of forgotten with all the craziness at the end, but your guys' defense have stopped um, to get you in the two-minute drill. Just how, how big was that? Oh, it was huge. That was game-changing. You know, we get stopped on fourth down. We got no momentum whatsoever. We did have the three timeouts, and for them to get three plays and get the stop like that, um, and really we were able to save one timeout, which – which was critical as well. So that's why I get all three phases made huge differences in this game. Bradford again sets up a score with a, a punt return and you know the defense uh, obviously on that on that possession. Coach, it seems like uh, Tristan uh, was was more willing to throw the ball away instead of trying to force and make a big play. Was that a, a big step you saw him take today this week? Yeah, that was improvement right there. I mean, there's a couple of times he's throwing the ball. One of them is a very similar play that we called that he throws the interception on the previous week. So uh, he was awesome with the ball. I don't think we turned it over tonight. Got a couple of turnovers defensively, and that was a factor in the game. Thanks, guys.